Hello everyone and welcome to Mountain Lake Journal. I'm Tom Howey. This week it's our election preview and in this off election year it is the issue that has sparked the most vigorous debate. Should New York State hold a constitutional convention? New York voters get the chance every 20 years and with voter anger over political corruption and gerrymandering, many say the time has come to bypass the state legislature and governor and to make some much needed reforms to state government. Critics fear though rewriting the state constitution could open a Pandora's box that could put many of the rights and protections already in the constitution at risk rolling back guaranteed pensions for public workers, legal protections for immigrants and the poor, and environmental protections for the Adirondack wilderness. What would a statewide constitutional convention look like? Like the bar in Star Wars. Opponents have hit the airwaves in this final week leading up to election day, hoping to convince voters to say no to convening a convention. On November 7th, New York will vote on holding a constitutional convention that has no rules. The cons con. If passed, paid delegates will... Prop 1 has united some strange bedfellows. Unions, environmental groups, and even the state's conservative party all oppose holding a constitutional convention. On the flip side, the New York Bar Association says a con con, as it's called, could add more protections, fix the state's beleaguered court system, the state's partisan redistricting, and close campaign finance loopholes. This past week, we hosted a debate on Proposition 1 on the campus of Clinton Community College, where we heard from two well-respected voices, one for and one against a convention. It is not that we don't believe that there is need for reform in state government or that there is a need to change the state constitution. Our concern is with the convention as that vehicle. Uh, we are... Uh, much more comfortable working in a atmosphere where we are amending the Constitution in a specific and surgical way that makes a change that we all agree on before we go into the voting booth if that's uh, possible and it is possible and that makes a change that will last a long time. On the ballot this year in fact there are two proposals to amend the state constitution in ways that are very meaningful and ways that a lot of people didn't think were ever going to happen. But because of a couple of things that have happened recently, these opportunities became possible and you can take advantage of those opportunities to change the constitution this year. We are concerned that in a constitutional convention, Rather than making surgical change, what you're doing is potentially blowing up the entire system, starting over from scratch if that's what the delegates decide that they want to do. Governance in New York is in crisis. The crisis has many dimensions, some obvious and some less evident. Our, poli our peak political institutions are massively dysfunctional and out of balance. That's the governor, the legislature, and the judiciary, our peak institutions. The state legislature is dominated by leadership and fails to function as a deliberative body. There's no deliberation on the, on the floor of the New York State Legislature, either in the Senate or the Assembly. Matters come to the legislature for decision once they're decided, formal decision once they're decided. Our legislature is riven with corruption. We have about two people indicted or removed for unethical behavior a year since the year 2000, including the leadership of the legislature. It's peopled by unaccountable members. They're not accountable because they gerrymander their districts, so they choose their voters rather than their voters choosing them. And they're perpetually reelected because of a rigged system for nomination and election that assures the return of incumbents. We have the least well-organized court system in the, in the United States. This is not my opinion only. I'm not the, the chief judge of the Court of Appeals, Jonathan Lippman, said so and has made videos for us saying so. The chief judge of our Court of Appeals for a period of time has called our court system, the one he ran, the least well organized in the United States. There was a study in 2007 that said that our court system is so, com is so complex and convoluted that it wastes half a billion dollars a year. So with all due respect to concern about for the forever wild provision, we have some fundamental problems that we have to face. If you get guys like me in that room to try to change the fundamentals of the state legislature, we're not going to touch the forever wild clause and get all the environmentalists in New York mad at us 
because we won't get the changes we want. So we're left with this process or no process. 